Hello, this is Simon Judd. This is an extract from one of our Insights packages, and this one concerns the immersed membrane bioreactor process. Well, clearly you can't have a membrane separation process without a membrane, and that membrane sits in a tank full of sludge, if it's an immersed process, on top of some coarse bubble diffusers, which are fed from the membrane blowers. And that generates a stream of coarse bubbles of air whose primary purpose is to scour the membrane and keep it clean. The sludge then enters into the tank and water pulled from it through the membranes in order to produce largely disinfected clear water as the product. Well, that sludge has to come from somewhere and it is from the processed biological tank which is normally divided into two zones an anoxic zone and an aerobic zone and there are two different biochemical functions going on in those two zones the aerobic zone is fitted with fine bubble diffusers supplied from the process air blowers and that generates a stream of fine bubbles of air whose primary purpose is to provide the microbiology with the oxygen needed for them to survive. These tanks are normally large enough to require some kind of uh, mechanical agitation and the sludge from the membrane tank is normally returned to the anoxic zone. That process tank is then fed with sewage. Um, there's normally some kind of fine screen required in order to protect the membrane and that screen is going to be somewhere between one and two millimeters normally and then sludge is wasted from the biological tank in order to maintain the solids concentration at some set value and that then is the immersed membrane bioreactor process